Hello, everyone. Smox here from Celebrant Quest. I am a registered civil marriage celebrant in Australia, so I love love, and I also love playing video games. So today we are in an early access game called Clan Folk, and Clan Folk is a um, colony sim, family sim, life sim, all the sims <laughs> um, set in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, and I've, I've been finding this game quite a bit of fun. And I thought that it would be good to start a new game. Um, and the idea is going to be that uh, we're going to make... Mm, I can't decide maybe whether I want to start with one person and just see how that goes. I'm kind of leaning towards that one. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to put the heavy rain and snow mode on. I just don't think... I want to deal with that. <laughs> so let's see if I can get a world that I'm satisfied with. Okay, I think I'm happy with this map. And the reason why I like this one is because of this little section of the map down here. So I can see that there is a little bit of a hollow in the mountain here, which is going to kind of make it a little bit easier for me to start the game, especially if I've just got one one sim um, the idea is that I would be able to uh, wall off some of this easily and roof it to make a little enclosed shelter as winter approaches possibly even here as well this actually this little section here might even be better for it because there's less of the roof to do as well um, it's close to the river I've got bog down here um, we've got trees along here as well and then there's some grasses, etc., through here. So I think that this should be a quite a good little starting area. So let's build our clan. I'm just going to choose a color that I think is really pretty. Let's do Sutherland. That looks quite nice. Without fear, I like that. Now the <laughs> I could go the hermit start, and this lovely lady has about I don't know a million cats. I don't really want a million cats, so I think what I'll do <laughs> is we'll go custom. I do actually like having the cats, so we will do a tomcat and a queen. Um, do I want a man or a woman? I think we'll go a man. Mm, should I start him as a juvenile? I might start him as maybe... Yeah, halfway to adulthood. That could be good. Now we've got repair. What's his name? <laughs> Fuck your heart. <laughs> I like that one. He's afraid of the dark. He's healthy and he has a fast metabolism. That's pretty good. However, he's got a two times on repair. <laughs> he's good at clothes or making clothes and he doesn't like cooking. So I'm not entirely happy with these. So let's re-roll and uh, tempt fate. Or <laughs> David, sickly, slow metabolism, afraid of the dark. Oh, dear. Nope, we're doing it again. Alan. Okay, Alan has no perks. He's good at hunting, good at building, and not so great at gathering. Mm, Alan, no, I think we're going to try again. No. Anton, slow metabolism, a hard worker. He likes cooking, he likes hunting, not so great at crafting. You know what, Anton? I'm not I'm not completely mad at this. Um, you know, he's not going to really enjoy crafting, but hey, mate, that's, that's just life, isn't it? All right, let's start our clan with little Anton. I love how he's got his red hair. Let's go. All righty, let's pause a sec. Now, this is the section of the map that I was interested in. This little section here and this bit here too. We've got reeds, etc., along here. I can see we've got um, lots of stones, of course. We've got the trees through here too. We've got a few berry bushes as well that I can see just poking through there. So that's quite good. Um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start with, I think I will put little bits into here first. Where are the beds? So we need a bed to sleep in. And if I don't have that for him, he's going to be very annoyed. So let's pop a little bed in. Um, yeah, we'll just pop it in here. 
We need a wash zone and a drink zone. So we'll put the wash zone there. We'll put our drink zone up here. So it's quite close to where like this central location is for us. So we're not going back and forth all the time, uh, you know, a far distance. So first things first, I've got to get, uh, I've got to get, what's his name? Harold? Anton. <laughs> Anton. <laughs> I've forgotten his name already. <laughs> Let's get Anton to start collecting up some of these stones because the more that we do little actions around our village, um, the more uh, advancements we will make in technology and discovering about the world that we live in. I've also got him going to have him gathering a few of those berries too because he'll have to eat. Um, let's put down a couple of pet zones just so my pets have somewhere to sleep. All right, good work, Anton. So there's some rocks. He's going to collect those berries. We'll also get him to collect a few branches as well. And then what will happen is we will discover new things. Like, so we've discovered our work zone. So um, we'll put the work zone out here. We've got stockpiles. I'm not really that bothered right now. Um, because at the moment I can't really build any, uh, roofs or anything, so it's really fine at the moment. I'm just going to move this pet bed. I'll put the pet beds up here instead. Okay, so what we've got now, as Anton goes about washing, etc., we get to build a stone sickle from the workspace, so that's going to help us with, um cutting down reeds and this grasses, some of these ferns as well. So we can make uh, straw. All right, cool. So now we can harvest plants. Let's do that because this is pretty essential to building and crafting, especially early on in the game. Great. Now we can uh, build a thresher and this will allow us yet again to just make straw, flax, that sort of thing um, from things like, I think things like oats, grasses, that kind of thing. And as we collect more things, we will learn different things about the world. So Anton's gonna, gonna uh, he's gonna make that thresher, which is great. We might need a few more sticks. All right, so in the thresher, we can thresh items like grasses, etc., to make straw. We may as well queue this up. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't happen. Okay, we've also just discovered uh, a branch pile which will be great that means that we can just store our branches somewhere nice we've also got an eel trap as well so eels are really great for food production so we'll get those down and then Anton's gonna go and build those Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know where the cats are. But the cats are really good because um, what they do is they will hunt um, rats and rabbits. And it'll just make it easier for us because once they hunt the rats and rabbits, they bring it back to camp. Um, and then we can, we can um, use the butchering block to get the meat and the hide, which would be really good. So with our eels, we will, um, I'd like a supply of eels. I'm going to set the inventory number, I think to 10. Let's try that. I don't know if I have to set this on both or whether that's, no, that applies to both, which is great. Okay, cool. So theoretically, Anton should make sure that there are 10 
raw eels um, that we have at all times. Whether he does this or not is <laughs> yet to be seen. <laughs> so we'll see. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, we've got a cooking fire. Okay, let's put this down somewhere. Uh, I'm actually going to put this in here. Um, because if I do end up walling this off, it'd be good to have this. This is... Uh, is this under... No, this is not under a, um, a roof at all at the moment. But that's okay, because you can't use the fire when it's raining. So if everything's wet, it, it just won't work. Alright, day two. Perfect. I'll speed up again, because Anton is just going to, you know, take a bath. Drink some water. He's going to maybe try to have some fun. You can see he's just walking around for fun at the moment. Oh, we can make a pile for corpses. Not so great, but mm, that's okay. We hopefully won't have to use that. So if I wall this off here, this can be a little bit of a bedroom. My only concern with this is if I wall this off here for a bedroom, uh, it'll be, it'll get quite cold, but if I put his bed in here, if I wall this section off and put a roof on with the campfire, that'll keep him nice and warm over winter. So I think that's what we'll try to um, head to. Alright, cool. So Anton is taking care of those... of those eel traps. Let's take out some of these grasses as well. Probably need to harvest some more of this, the reeds for the straw as well. Let's do that. I just got him to make a second sickle because the sickles do run out quite quickly because we are using them a lot. Alright, we can make hay seeds. We don't really need that right now. That'll be for later on when we want to... Um, till the soil and make a little bit of a farm but in my experience it's quite especially <laughs> playing with one one tune it's quite hard to do in the first year so we're going to leave that till the next the next year after winter so what i can do is i can change anton's priorities here i think i might do that i might make building higher than the gathering like the threshing like he was doing because i want him to make things like the campfire because then we can start cooking up some of the eels that will hopefully be ready soon here we go okay great so the campfire is done so with the cooked eels I'm gonna say I want to make sure that there's at least five cooked eels at all times so hopefully that will work so now I can also make a stone hoe, so I will make that too. So the stone hoe is going to be able, we are going to be able to um, access some of the clay that's around the river here. And that'll be really useful for building. What else have we got? Oh, a meat rack. Now that's going to be quite um, handy to have. I'm just thinking... Um, let's put the meat rack here, because I will wall this off eventually. The reason why I'm going to put the meat rack here is because if it's a bit cooler over winter, the meat might last a bit longer, rather than having it in this... Um, you know, in with where the fire is, that's going to be nice and warm. That's my thought anyway. Alright. Oh, and now we can build our walls, etc. I don't really want to build a straw um, roof over the top of the fire because it can catch fire. But I might not have much of a choice until we get into, um, you know, until we get into the daub roof, that sort of thing which is a little bit less flammable. And 
one's going to get some more sticks. Um, hopefully then we can continue making this stone hoe. I wasn't sure. Do we need more stones too? We do. Let's collect these stones as well. Good on you, Anton. Look at him go. So he's going to cook up those eels. Oh, we can also plant reeds and grasses now. So this is kind of cool. So we could plant reeds back on the section of um, section of the the coast here, on the river, on the shoreline. Um, you know, and that's just so that they'll grow and it'll make it easy for us to go and um, harvest that again. If Anton does it, great. If he doesn't, it doesn't matter because we've got plenty on the other side and further down the river as well. I want to kind of keep him on this side of the river because it means that he doesn't waste time trying to walk through the water, which really slows him down to get to the other side. Do you know what I will do, though? I might change his first priority to hauling because I find that... If they're hauling it, great. Um, I'm also going to say auto haul for this cooking fire, so he'll automatically change it. He'll automatically take that to the meat rack. And Anton, I know, honey, but I'm going to make you keep working for now. I know you want to walk around and have some fun, but I just want you to keep working right now. So he's hauling the things off. And that'll just make sure that they're not going to perish as quickly. I'm going to put the straw uh, roof over the meat rack here. And once we've got this hoe, we can start getting some clay as well. And then we can work out things like the daub walls eventually and that sort of thing. Daub roof or whatever it's called. Not daub roof. It's It'll tell me in a second. <laughs> Wine, very important. We'll make some of that. We're making an axe so we can chop down trees. We've also now got a poop hole. <laughs> Let's all get our jokes out about that. Um, well, I'm just going to put it right in the middle of here. I mean, no one else is in the colony, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry, I forgot you were still on work. <laughs> you can go to sleep now, mate. Sorry about that, dude. What else have we got? Oh, a sleeping mat. That'll be much nicer for Anton. So we will build one. And then once we've built it, we can move it wherever I want. Although maybe I should just build it, actually. I should just build it here. I might just build it there instead of here. And then we won't have to move it later. What else have we got? Oh, a clothing zone. That's going to be really important for us. Because we need to start making... We need to start making some... Um, some clothes for winter. Because at the moment, Anton's only got this little... What's this? This tartan plaid thing. It's his bolt of fabric. So, <laughs> you know... We really need to um, get some more, more clothing. But we're doing well. We're only in morning three of summer. So we'll go to autumn and then winter. So we've still got a little bit of time, but I find in this game, the time just goes so quickly. All right, great. So now we've got things like a double bed and that sort of thing. Um, we don't need that right now, so I'm not going to do that. We can till the soil and things like that. It's just way too early in the game for us to do that. Oh, great. Now we can gather clay. I'm going to do that. Gosh, we need more uh, 
sticks as well. Branches, I mean. It'll be good if once we uh, make this stone axe and then we can just um, chop down the trees and it'll give us branches and logs. But for now, we'll just have to keep trying to gather branches. That's a, f a long way up the, the river, but hey, what can you do? Oh, there's onions here. Just see these ones with the little pink flowers, they're onions. I Oh, there's more of them. That's cool. I don't really want to harvest onions right now because the food will, it'll just go to waste. So that might be something we can think about for the second season. Uh, sorry, the second year because we could get the seeds and then plant them. Um, but it's just completely unnecessary right now. But with the onions, you can do things like when you get a cooking pot, you can um, make stews and that sort of thing. So it's quite good, but we just don't need that right now. And I wonder if this... So our one eel jar is doing quite well. Real trap, not jar. <laughs> so the second one might have been unnecessary, but that's okay. Hey, look, there's Tomcat. Oh, look, here's Queen. Are you pregnant yet? You are. Awesome. So, yeah, they will eat some of the the food that we've got that, and that we've cooked, but that's okay because we'll just make some more. And then, like I said, eventually when they start hunting with the rats and the bunnies, then um, that'll make our jobs a little easier as well because we can just go and um, butcher them and use them. So now this is telling us we've got zero days worth of food left. But Anton's just remedying that. We've got one cooked eel there, now we've got six, so that's good. We've got some raw eels too, so he'll just continue on making sure that there's enough food in the stocks. So what do we need to make this clothes zone? We need five twine. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. All done, okay. So let's, we'll make a sack. Um, that'll lead us to making other clothes as well. Now, just for now, this is a bit unorthodox, but I'm going to actually put clothes make, cl um, yeah, the clothes making up to the highest priority because I just want to make sure that we do have the facilities to make or the resources to make clothes for the winter. Otherwise, we'll be a little bit screwed because when it's really cold, Anton will not want to go outside and do things like um, hunt deer or whatever the case may be. Which, oh look, so we've got two rabbits here that the, um, that the cats have collected, which is great. So they're already starting to bring these. These will probably spoil because we won't actually have enough um, skills etc to get the chopping block just yet okay a kiln that's really really important for us let's pop this one mm. yeah we can pop that there for now we can always move things if we need to What else do we have? Oh, we have stockpiles for all our stuff that we need. I'm not going to worry just now. And the reason why I'm not worrying is because um, we, because we're gathering so close to where we live, I'm not overly worried about it. Okay, so where is Anton? What are you doing, mate? Oh, taking a poop. Nice. <laughs> So he's just wandering around to get some fun. What do we need to make this one? Straw and clay. He's going to continue just making those bits of clothing, which is really good. So he'll pop them on as the weather gets um, colder. I can hear that there's some deer or... Yeah, deer about somewhere. Where are they? Oh, I don't know. I, th I could hear them though. 
But you can go out and you can hunt the deer and that sort of thing. They're definitely here somewhere. They're making a lot of noise. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. So we now can make a few extra bits and bobs for the clothing. And we've also got a clothing basket. I'm not going to worry about a clothing basket just yet. I know that these can lose quality, but he's going to pop them on. Um, and then we're worried about things like a clothing basket um, for the next um, for the next year. How far along is the queen? Oh no, she's got ages ago until she gives birth to a little kitten. All right, after this tunic, we should be all right with the clothing. Hopefully he'll make that ax and then we can chop down some of these trees. Ooh, a sackcloth. Okay, no, we need the cloth cloak. That'll just give us a little bit more warmth. The, the cloth clothing isn't that great, but it's better than not having anything, as we'll see in the winter. Is cooking on the list. Hmm. Okay. We got the tomcat following us. That's so cute. I think we won't bother about harvesting those reeds for now. So the tomcat does give some social, like, um, bar fill I don't know what you call this like the social need is like satisfied by talking to the cats which is quite good especially because Anton's by himself and he'd get quite lonely I have a feeling okay what I do want to do is look at maybe walling off this section here actually I want to get rid of that one Because I need a, what do I need, a door? Let's put a door here. He's going to make sure that this is sectioned off. We'll start this for the winter. And then for this section, I'm hoping that maybe if I continue to make a bit of the roof and the walls, etc. It will hopefully lead to the next, um, like, uh, what am I looking for? Like the next upgrade in technology. Okay, charcoal and wood ash will we'll produce those later. We do need to make some clay um, clay bottles um, for water production or for water like usage in the winter as well because the, the lakes will freeze. So also when autumn comes around, we'll need to get out and collect mushrooms and then we can dry mushrooms to have those as our winter food as well. The cats will still continue to get their bunnies and stuff so we can hopefully be able to butcher that for meat etc during the winter but I like to have the mushrooms just in case that plan doesn't come together. So Anton's just cooking right now. Which is good because we've got no food apparently. Okay, so maybe I can make the straw walls away from the fire. I can make a roof that comes across here and then when we know the maybe even the what's it called? The thatch roof, etc. Hopefully we'll know the stone roof. We can build it over the fire. I just want to wall this off, don't I? So, uh, let's go here and here. I'm going to move this. That'll do. Maybe I can go like this. Yeah, and I'll build the, the door can be there. There we go. So what do we need, Anton? Looks like we need some more straw. 
So the easiest way to do that is to gather the reeds along the river. So let's highlight some of these to be gathered. Like I said, we'll stick to we'll stick to the uh, eastern side of the river for now. Now all the clothes are made, I'm going to drop drop the clothing priority. We can always change that later. I'm going to put the straw roof to about there. And then the rest I'm going to make daub or whatever it is, thatch. <laughs> Over the fire. I really need to make that stone axe. What's that? That's crafting. So why don't I put crafting up at the moment? So then he'll go make that one. And that just opens a few more avenues in terms of cutting down these trees for us. Thank you. Thank you, Tomcat. That's beautiful. Lovely bunny. I can make a zone to dump these corpses. Uh, I don't know if I will for now. Oh, great, great. We can make a stone pick, which means that we can start mining out some of this mountain, which will be really useful later. Okay, so we need heaps more straw. That's all right. I feel like we're on track, you know, for winter. Um, I feel like we're going to be okay. How are you feeling, Anton? Huh? <laughs> He's loving life. Why wouldn't he? Crafting up awesome stuff. He loves crafting, not... <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we can mine the, the mountain, we can mine for gravel, we've got a whole heap of new um whole heap of new zones that we can put things. So that's great. That's opened a lot. Okay, cool. So he's gonna go down and get this this straw. Hopefully we'll be able to mine this um peat as well soon. And then we can start making things like the thatch roof. I have a feeling he can't get to the thresher from there. Because I think this might be in the way. I'm going to move it there. I might up this eel production. And I might say I want 20 in the inventory at all times. Because I know the cats are eating it a little. And then with the cooked deal, I might say I want 10 cooked deal at a time. Oop. There we go. Two branches and 25 straw for the doors. Is that causing him a lot of grief? He hasn't made this drawer door. Okay. What are we on? Summer 5, the fifth night of summer. Yeah, this will, this will be fine. We'll mine that bit out. We can mine these little bits out too. We can expand this little section. I might need to up the priority of um, cutting down trees. But I th think 
like we're okay at the moment. No, we need some more branches. So I'm going to up the priority of cutting down trees. Where are you? Here. Let's do that as number one. And then he can do that. And um, it'll give us branches and logs. And logs will open up a few more things as well for us. There we go. Yeah, heaps of stuff. Okay, so let's see. I want to... I'm not going to worry about the clay bin, etc. I definitely want a butcher's block. Um, I'm going to put the butcher's block inside where it's... Um, I know that looks... that's probably gross, but like <laughs> inside here because what will happen is when, when Anton works, um, it'll throw out the hide and if the hide is covered under it, under cover it won't go bad if he doesn't move it in time so that's just my thought process on that one what else do we have oh we've got a wattle fence oh we can make compost for our gardens that's great and then soon what we'll be able to do when he remakes this work zone We'll be able to um, make, uh, a sh I think it's a shovel, so we can get the peat. You know what I could do? I could up his farming. See if that helps us for doing things like um, using the thresher. Actually, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea that he puts these reeds in too. It'd be really handy to have access to those. Just kind of see how you go in this game, really, and find, you know, what works, what doesn't work. So here we can see uh, mushrooms are growing underneath what these were trees here. These are little tree stumps. We can see the mushrooms are growing here. And so um, as the year goes on, the mushrooms will mature and um, we'll be able to harvest those for some of our meals during the winter what's he making oh he is making straw i was gonna say if he's making flax i don't really want that <laughs> a grain pallet storage of grain um i'm not sure we need that right now Do you need you to make that crafting thing though, bud? So you know what? I'm going to just make that top priority at the moment. Still planting his seeds. Just kidney seeds, eh? <laughs> Kidneys reeds. <laughs> you don't want to move this? Is this because this is in the way? Oh no, you are doing it now. We can make a log pile now. That'll be... Good for later. Great, there's that door done. Oh, great, we can make windows, etc. That's lovely. What we'll do for the roof. Um, I won't put a roof on that just yet. It can just stay unroofed for now. Why is that got a roof? Oh, because of the meat. That's right, I remember now. I'm going to make the wood block priority 10. Hopefully he'll get to it. Although I'm not mad that he's making the roof here because that will need to be done. Great. Okay. We can make a bow so we can hunt animals. The butcher block is going to see a bit of action now I think. Um, so that'll be quite good. Oh, a flute. Let's make a flute as well and we'll make the peat spade. The flute will mean that Anton in the morning he can get up and make some music and he'll feel a lot happier. You got no eel apparently. Why don't you have any eel? Okay, we definitely need to cut some more grass. Well, this oh the fern will give us um the fern gives us straw so let's we can harvest that bit no food i don't understand this wait a second why don't we gather the berries then let's 
let's do that. Let's make this a 10, just so you don't starve to death. Oh no, you're okay for food. Alright, we can make a rock heap, which is great. I could do that later. Yes, I know. See, this uh, icon means that it's not wet. This stove isn't working because the it's getting wet from the rain. So we really need to work that out. I don't know whether I should just maybe do it with the straw roof and just see how it goes. But I'm just going to check the ideas. Oh, now we can harvest the peat, actually. You know what? Scratch that. We're going to harvest peat and see what that does for us. And now we've actually used the butchering block. We've discovered that we can make like meat kebabs. So let's do that. We'll make sure that we have five of these. How about that? That'd be great. Because I believe most animals when they're slaughtered give like the small ones. So like the meat, uh, so the rat and the rabbit. I think they give five meat each and that's what you need to make one of the kebabs or oh, five of the kebabs like a stack of kebabs like this yeah oh the cat's saying that they don't have a home to or the bed to go to that's because now they want to sleep inside so let's pop one there and we'll pop one there and now the cats will be happier they're funny things aren't they so that roof is almost done there, which is awesome. Oh, we're going to have our little window here. I put a little window so that um, it just looks nicer. The light goes out outside when the fire's on and it just it gives a really nice aesthetic feel. Perfect. Okay, so that bit of the roof is done. So now we just need to, uh, hopefully when we learn our uh, thatch roof, we can put that there. It's um, The reason why I'm saying that is because the thatch roof has lower flammability than a, than a straw roof does. Oh, a hide rack. I don't want to put this one. Hmm. I need this to be expanded out, I think. Oh, what a beautiful song. <laughs> Good job, Anton. I'm going to put farming back down in priority now. Probably should start to move out these corpses now, I feel. Let me see. Let's do uh, the dump, I think. Might put the dump up here and that's because we can start using this section eventually for farming and that'll fertilize the land I believe all right beautiful so uh, we've got those two taken care of I'm gonna get rid of this sleep spot I want to put the hide rack here okay great he's starting to move those things out which is awesome there's so quite a few <laughs> probably that one's almost gone so in here we can see it's 27.9 degrees in in this little room that's because the outside temperature is 28 so once we get this roof um finished and the winter comes, it'll be like zero outside, but it'll be like 15 degrees in here and that'll make Anton quite happy because his warmth stat will go up. So he's got this warmth stat here. If that goes too low, he'll he'll seek shelter back inside and won't be able to get anything done. So that's where the clothing comes in as well. So we'll start to see him put on more clothing. Like instead of just having the plaid, he'll have like his little hat and his shorts and that sort of thing. 
um, as the weather changes and it gets colder. And so now that we're making these hides, what will happen is in the clothing section we'll be able to make things like, well here we go, decorative hide, the fur tunic, fur hat, fur cloak. It gives a little bit more um, warmth than the cloth ones do. So if he can make some of them, great. If not, absolutely fine. I'm going to go and finish this straw roof here because I don't want the dry hide to get um, completely ruined by being in the rain. So it's got the icon where it's it's getting wet. Oh, he's harvesting peat. And then once we get more of these um, peat bricks, we'll be able to put them into a, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but like a storage section for the peat bricks and it'll make them dry and then we can do things like use them for the thatch walls, thatch roofs, things like that. Oh, cat just got a, cat just got a mouse. All right, cool. So now we can make a peat stack and the peat stack is something that I do definitely want to have inside because it will, um, as I said, dry the peat bricks. So I wonder if I can, mm, do I want to carve out more of this? Yeah, probably actually. Let's just carve out more of this. And we might be able to put our peat stacks in here. What do we need to, where's our ideas to discover? So the serving basket, we need to do a couple more berries. That's fine. Uh, where are the walls? Mushroom racks, we need 50 mushrooms. I wonder if it's worth me trying to harvest some mushrooms now. Okay, door wall. Oh, we need more branches. Let's get some more branches. Let's get some more branches. That's an easy one we can do. I'm going to actually cross the river here. And he can get those branches. What I will do as well is I will start harvesting these mushrooms. Where are, Do we have any here? We don't have any mushrooms here. That's fine. What about over this side? No, interesting. What about down here where there's a bit more forest? Blimey. Oh, there's one. That's not really going to help us too. Hmm. Okay. Where's the cooking? Cooking can be up top. Um, okay, so we might have to go further afield for mushrooms. So luckily... I mean, they will still grow. It's not even autumn yet, but we really need those mushrooms to be dried over the over the winter to eat them. Um, but luckily we do have the cats bringing in some rats and bunnies and that sort of thing to help with the food. Oh, he's talking to the cat. <laughs> Super cute. Anton, get back to work, bro. Your happiness is generally pretty good, actually. Great, so now we've got plenty of food. Oh, we're not done? <laughs> More cooking. Fantastic. Won't take him long to get through some of this. What's the skill he has on mining? Two. Two out of ten, that's all right. It's nowhere near three. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll pop the peat stack over here. So we need some storage, the peat stack. Okay, so we need a bit more twine. So I will queue that up here. What else do we need? Uh, branches and logs. Oh, finally. Okay, we can do a thatch roof now. I'm going to make the thatch roof over here over the fire uh, because see the straw roof has high flammability and the thatch roof has low until we have um, the stone roof where there's no flammability I'll I'll take the thatch roof 
So see how long it takes him to get across the river? This is necessary for these resources on here. On this side. We'll need to start making some charcoal eventually as well. So I might need to make a stockpile for berries and mushrooms in here because they're, the berries and the mushrooms are just going to be outside and they're going to go to waste, uh, especially the mushrooms because we need to collect 50 of them before I can have a mushroom rack to dry them. And then once we do charcoal, I have to have a little place inside for charcoal as well. Otherwise, um, we're not going to have a good time with that because that'll waste as well. And we need the charcoal to make our pots for water in the winter. There's Anton. There he is. Look at him go. Mate, I can't believe we've got all this. How are the clothes going? They're not spoiling, are they? No, they're fine. They're fine. What's that? A rat. We can use that. You can you can butcher that rat if you like. <laughs> I love the unceremonious drop of the instrument at the end there. Okay, summer night number nine. I wonder if we get autumn tomorrow. Nope, we've still got day 10 of sun of summer. So that's good. Anton, get to work, bro. We don't have time for you to, <laughs> to have fun. Okay. So we've made our first bit of charcoal. I'm going to make a stockpile right here for charcoal. Probably should expand it actually, because I need to do the wood ash as well. There we go, perfect. And now we can look at Doing things like making the kiln, which will be very useful. Like I said, we need to make jugs, clay jugs, so that we can have water in the winter. We'll keep them inside in the warmth. Um, yeah, and then we'll be able to still be able to drink water in the winter. It'll be great. So let's get rid of some of these sections too. Let's lower that priority, actually. I'm not sure I want you doing that just yet. You know what? I'm going to take out this. I don't need you to harvest those. I do need you to harvest this bit, though, because that's going to give it's going to give the straw. gather those as well we need straw to make all of our roof bits etc I'll take that off I don't need to make those anymore for now do I what does this need Rockstone clay straw. I think we're good. Beautiful. Now we'll, once the peat stack is made, we'll move the peat bricks into the peat stack. 
and they'll continue to be dry. Like these um, will go from wet to dry outside, but if it rains, obviously, they go back to being wet, so we can't use them when they're wet. And the reason why I don't need to put a roof here is because this is under the mountain roof, because we've dug into the mountain. Maybe in the winter we can do some more harvesting of this peat. How many mushrooms have we got? 15. Hmm. We need 50 to make the mushroom drier. Where are all the mushrooms? There's some more mushrooms. And I realized that I could be only harvesting mushrooms that are at 100%, but I really just need to get to the next level of um, technology or discovery or whatever you want to call it. So I really need to just find them. But it's not even autumn yet, so we should be fine. The mushrooms will grow prolifically in the autumn. Gosh, the crows are off pudding. <laughs> Another day has passed, Anton. You've done a good job. And when winter comes around, we'll also tick on the cooking fire that will keep it lit as well. So throughout the winter, we'll just keep it going, even if we're not cooking on it. And it means that this room will stay nice and warm. Okay, we've finally reached autumn. I'm going to call the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of Clan Folk. Anton is uh, doing his best. We've made a lot of progress through the summer. We've got our two little rooms. We've just got to do this... Um, this ceiling here and then we'll have a nice warm room for winter um so join me um on the next episode of clan folk please like the video subscribe to the channel my name is smocks from celebrant quest thanks very much for joining me have a great day bye